everyone. I've got a lovely book for you to read this week called The Little Old Lady Who Cried Wolf. It's by Simon Puttock and Nicholas Later. I hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time there was a little old lady who had lots of things to play with, like a jacuzzi. And a gym and an enormous entertainment system. But sometimes the little old lady wished she had somebody to play with too. Oh dear, look how fed up she looks. She does look lonely, doesn't she? One day she did something very naughty. She picked up the telephone and she called the zoo. Look, she's on the phone to the zoo. Help, she cried. I'm a little old lady. There is a wolf in my house. Oh, chuggity, chuggity, chug, chug. A van full of zookeepers pulled up outside her house. Can you see? Oh said the zookeeper excitedly. Where's this wolf then? Oh, well, said the little old lady thinking fast. Well, he was here, but then he went shopping for cream cakes. Do you want to come in for a cup of tea? Oh dear. Aha, said the chief zookeeper sternly. Wolves do not like to eat cream cakes. I think you're a very naughty little old lady and you've been telling fibs but I'll let you off just this once. Good day to you. Oh, rats, said the little old lady. Oh dear, she's uh, she's got away with that one, hasn't she? It was naughty of her. But then the next week, the little old lady did it again. But this time, she called the police. She's on the phone to the police. She cried, I'm a little old lady and there is a wolf in my house. Nino, Nino, the police got round to her house really quickly. Where's this wolf then, said the chief of police. Oh, well, said the little old lady. Well, he was here about 15 minutes ago, but he's gone to have his hair done. Would you like to come in for a slice of cake? Aha, said the chief of police crossly. Who ever heard of a wolf with a hairdo? I think you're a very naughty old lady and you've been telling fibs. We will let you off this once, but don't do it again. Goodbye. Oh dear. She is pushing her luck, isn't she? Double rats, said the old lady. The next morning, the little old lady looked yearningly at the telephone. And she picked it up. And can you guess who she phoned this time? The fire brigade. Help, she cried. I'm a little old lady and there is a wolf in my house. The fire brigade rushed to the rescue. Where's the wolf? asked the fire chief. Well, said the little old lady. He's nipped out to play bingo. But you can come in for a game of cards if you'd like to. Oh dear. What? cried the fire chief furiously. No wolf? Us play cards? I think you're a very naughty old lady who's been telling fibs and wasting our time too. Good day to you. Oh, he looks very angry there. Now, great big enormous rats, said the little old lady. I wish I had someone to play with. Oh, she's so lonely, isn't she? She's putting herself to, into all these situations because she's lonely. That evening, the little old lady was still feeling bored and lonely. She sighed and she shrugged and she thought, who else can I call? She flicked through the telephone book. Aha, said the little old lady, and she dialed a number. I wonder who you think she phoned next. She phoned a gang of wild motorcyclists. They zoomed up outside her house and they said, we are the wolf patrol. The chief motorcyclist had a very deep, gruff voice. Show us your wolf. Well, said the little old lady, 
you know, he pops in and out and, well, you know, but come in and have a look. Well, we don't mind if we do, said the chief motorcyclist. Get your helmets off, lad. This looks like just the job for us. Oh, my, said the little old lady, because as it turned out, the wolf patrol were a gang of wolves. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, ho, cried the chief wolf. Now let's get down to business and look at the little old lady's face. She's in trouble now, isn't she? Nowadays, the little old lady's house is packed with wolves, but she never cries wolf on the telephone because she is having far too much fun. I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a little short story from me to you. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.